This isn't the sound you expect to hear in the serenity of the San Diego County mountains, but these workers armed with chainsaws are racing against an invasive creature on a path of destruction. The gold-spotted oak borer beetle has killed 80,000 oak trees in the county over the last decade. The Cleveland National Forest has taken the brunt of the massive die-off. This is probably the worst invasive insect problem that these oak trees have ever experienced. And as we can see with the tens of thousands of dead oak trees, the problem is only going to get worse over time. Mark Hoddle is a biological control specialist at UC Riverside. Oh, two. Look at that. Bonus. He says the trees are ultimately killed after the beetles burrow their eggs in the underside of the bark and the hatched larvae eat away at the tree. So you can see how extensive that is. So when you have hundreds or sometimes possibly thousands of these beetle larvae feeding in these trees that are dying around us, they're essentially cutting the tubes that move the nutrients up and down the tree. And the tree ends up ultimately starving because these tubes have uh, been cut and they can't get their food or water anymore. The infested trees typically die within three to five years, a rapid mortality for 150-year-old oaks. The beetle was first discovered in San Diego County in about 2004. Hoddle says it likely came here in a bundle of firewood from its native home in Arizona. There, the beetle is hardly visible because its predators keep it in check. And here in California, where the climate's great, you know, there's tens of thousands of oak trees for it to attack and no natural enemies. Boom, the populations have exploded and we're seeing the consequences of that now. Roger Kovalt is supervising park ranger at Heise Park and Campgrounds near Julian, the epicenter of the invasion. His crew has cut down 800 dead trees so far, with hundreds more to go. The entrance drainage used to have a, a very full canopy of uh, oak. Now most of the uh, trees are down and the light shines through. It's quite sad. You're, we're losing this canopy and campers miss it. Kovalt says the onslaught of dead trees has created hazardous conditions for park visitors and campers. Trails and campgrounds are often closed because of unstable trees. Well, safety is a big issue. They die, they fall, and we don't want them to hurt the public. You also have an increased fire danger with the uh, dried out tree, more likely to burn if a fire comes. The oak borer has a single generation life cycle and lives for one year, but it's capable of producing more than 100 eggs with 70 to 80 percent hatching and producing larvae. Thousands of acres of oak forests in San Diego County face an ecosystem collapse if these beetles can't be contained. The acorns are essential for deer and rodents. Woodpeckers store their nuts in these trees and they're home to dozens of birds. And areas that are shaded by these oak trees often hold water and keep these areas damp. And in those areas, we find unique plant and animal species that can only live in these moisted areas underneath the shade of these giant oak trees. And all that's in peril now as these oaks die. Hoddle says invasive species are an accelerating problem in Southern California. Exotic insects are becoming established in the region an average of one every 40 days. He says population growth, tourism and increasing trade are to blame. So some recent examples in addition to the gold spotted oak borer are brown widows, which many people are now finding in their backyards. We have problems in our citrus orchards now with Asian citrus psyllid, which is native to the Indian subcontinent in Southeast Asia. We have problems with something called the spotted wing drosophila, which is a very small fly, which now attacks our blueberries, raspberries and blackberries. Hoddle is on a mission to track down the gold-spotted oak borer's enemy before it decimates oak forests all the way to Oregon and beyond. He's specifically looking for a parasite that attacks the beetle's eggs and larvae. We've begun those surveys in southern Arizona. We're expecting that this process may take at least five years before we can get natural enemies into California to release against the gold-spotted oak borer. Hoddle says the question is, in five years, will there be any oak trees left to save? Susan Murphy, KPBS News.